Hello and welcome lacrosse fans to the European Box Lacrosse Championships 2022 here in beautiful Hanover, Germany. My name is Garrett Gosser and we are going to watch a rematch of the gold medal game from Germany Lacrosse Convention from the 22nd of May 2022. We got the Czech Republic in their white and red kits versus Team Germany in their black kits. We're looking forward to an amazing game. Last time these two teams faced off, the score was 16 to 11 in favor of the Czechs. It's a pretty interesting game. There was a 14 penalties. And uh, we should have another in interesting matchup here tonight as well. So sadly for Team Germany, they are missing out on Gustav Vibser. He had seven points the last time they played. Uh, but he's out on injury right now. They had Philip Gross with, I believe, five points in the last game. Tim Wunderlich had three points and five other players with two points. In the Czech Republic, Dominic Peschuk had eight points. Jürgen Lovska had six. Tomasz Prochaska had five. And then they had four other players with two points. So starting off early, Czech Republic has got the face-off win. Jürgen Lovska holding that ball there. Lovska down to Knotek, over to Dominic Peschuk. Peshek up, up to Knotek, shoots it wide. Ball tapped by the hand of Roland Wittmann. Knotek up to Loscott. Over to Friedel, who just got back from a stint playing in Canada. Shot by Dominic Peshek, saved by Craig Vendy. Picked up by the Germans. Wolfgang Griesel, who had himself a nice game against the Czechs last time, so they're going to look to minimize his impact on the floor. It's really big defensive pressure there by Kuba Vimola and Tomasz Konotek. Joining them is Jan Skokan. Jakub Marisch in goal, getting the ball up to Skokan. He's going to run the floor, get the ball over to Pavel Doshli. To Brock. Scott running the floor, takes a shot, deflected. Picked up by Pavel Doshley. Finds himself getting close to the cage, but gets pushed up and over. No dice. Badak goes for another shot, hits a German player, shot clock violation. You can obviously hear the German crowd is energized by that shift. A lot of energy in the building here. This is the final game of the first day of the European Box Across Championship matchup. 2022. Both these teams are looking for uh, some continuation of the Drilaxcon agenda. Oh, that's going to be a high check there from number 28, Martin Melanowski. Starting early with the penalties. So we had 14 combined last game. So now we have our first one. Only two minutes into the game. A high stick or a cross check. It was also high, so same thing. <laughs> Let's see what the Germans do here. A lot of energy from the crowd. I hope you can hear it on the mic. Ball's lost in the offensive zone there, but picked back up by the Germans. Shot by Philip Bros. Off the pads of Jakub Marisch. Flicked over, Lenny Noren and able to get that ball. And that's going to be an over and back. Tomas Hayek. Nicknamed the Cobra, one of the fastest players in the Czech Republic. Pick, picking that ball up there. Staying on because he is an offensive weapon, and there it is. First goal of the game for Tomas the Cobra Hayek. So with a short-handed goal, the Czechs are lethal at pretty much any time they have the offensive possession. That was goal scored by number 41, Tomasz Hayek, assisted by number 18, Jurka Laska. Could be a face-off violation, Czech ball. 
got a minute and six seconds left to kill in the penalty. Let's see if they add another shorthanded goal here. Yukolaska, time to step on Friedel. Over to Tomas Konotek. Konotek back to Laskot. Couple swim moves. Doesn't really have anything going. Goes for the dive. And it's good! Another short-handed goal by the Czechs. This time, Jirka Laskot getting a goal for himself with the dive on Craig Vindy. If I'm Team Germany, maybe I'm taking a timeout. This is not the way to start the game, especially short-handed. Or there on the power play, excuse me. Face-off won by the Czechs after what seemed to be a German win. Hans Dobias coming up with his own rebound. And this, ball, this floor does kind of bounce a bit weird, so... The pass goes a little off target, and it is a over and back. Turnover, now German ball. Braus with the ball. Braus back to Noring, Brandenburger. Bros. Takes a shot off the pads of Jakub Maris. Lenny Noren gets the rebound, new shot clock. Kuba Vimola following him closely. And that penalty is now killed, but they don't really pick up that guy. They don't pick up Justin Wiesmer, which is a big mistake for them. Luckily, he doesn't capitalize on it. Germans didn't notice that he was open. That's going to be a slashing call on number 14, Brian Whitmer. Shot saved, that was number 15, Mark Brandenburger taking that shot. And we're gonna get a slash on number 14, Brian Whitmer. Second penalty of the game. Which so far has worked out in the Czech Republic's favor, so we'll see if Germany can turn their luck around with this penalty. Running on with the ball there. Ross. Wiesmer. Philip Rose taking that shot, deflected. Looking for another one. Finds Brandenburger, finds Wiesmer. Intercepted by Martin Hodan. Dangerous pass there to Polak. Luckily for him, he's a big body, doesn't he? So it takes a lot to knock him down. Pavel Darcy with the ball from the pass from Lukaloska. It's a pick there from Dominic Peshek. He isn't able to get himself open. Two seconds left in the shot. Darcy's going to wind up and shoot. Greg Vendy easily gets that ball. Oh, the Germans had too many men on the floor. They're lucky they didn't get called. They sent an early substitution. Burrows with the ball, with the pick from Lenny Noring. Takes a shot, goes for five hole. Jakub Marsh finds it, almost drops that into the net. People are slipping and sliding all over this arena, so it's not surprising that even the goalies are too. Jan Skokan with the ball here. On the righty strong side wing is a lefty. Tomas Nipal is going to really pressure that. Jan Skokan, also a very big man, doesn't lose the ball easily. Skokan, yeah, makes a ball, hits off of the pads of Craig Vindy. They're going to say that was a shot clock violation. I disagree, but I'm not in stripes. Seven seconds left in the penalty. Another unsuccessful power play for the Germans there. 0 for 2 on that. Kubi Pamola gets the ball up. It's Brian Whitmer coming fresh out of the box there. Slows it down, waits for his teammates. 20 seconds left, so they're getting their rotations in. Martin Hodan, usually defender. Yep, now he's coming off. 
Brian also heading off the floor. Peshek over to Dorsley. Up to Lascott. Gets himself a nice little, oh wow, good take there. He had a nice pick. Found Kanoatek. Oh, we got a fast break opportunity. Florian Heller had a good opportunity but lost the ball in transition. And now we're too many men for the German. Once again, that's their second time. The first time didn't get called. They're lucky that, uh, luckily this isn't their second offense with it. So the Germans are gonna serve two minutes for too many men. They're gonna send number 92, Dennis Hirt in there. So the check's pretty lethal on man down. Let's see how they do on man up. You can tell there's just so much passion being played. You know, three minutes of penalty, or three penalties already is not really a good sign, like a sign of good lacrosse. But with these two teams, like they both have so much skill that it's not exactly like the issue there. It's just that they both play each other so hard. Pavel Dashley with the power play goal for the Czechs with the assist from Tomasz Prohaska. I asked Pavel Dorsley if he was ready for the game and he's a, he's a veteran Czech lacrosse player and he said, what, the 20th time I played Team Goal Germany? He said, no, I'm not worried. It's <laughs> just like every time. So it's business for him and with the third goal of the game, he shows it. So this is actually kind of how the game went against or, uh, the Czech Republic versus the Germans at Relaxcon. Germans got themselves into a, a pretty deep hole to start and then they pulled it together for the second half. And right now, sitting at 3-0 in favor of the Czechs early in the, the game, we're halfway through the first is what kind of we're seeing a similar pattern here. Germans just don't seem to find like the offensive rhythm as fast as the Czechs do. But then once they do, it's, it's game on and it really makes it quite interesting. Nobody has the ball here. A lot of pushing and shoving, but most people are pretty afraid of falling. This, this concrete is very slick. And, yep, there's going to be a penalty there. Wiesner with the ball. What a goal! Per Olters from the pass from Justin Wiesner with the delayed penalty coming. And that has obviously given the Germans some juice here. off a lot of ground ball issues finally won by the Czechs so not counting the uh, face off violation they are three and zero. Oh. helmet came off couldn't get it back on Tomas Prohaska looking for a one-timer doesn't go That's an over and back. Maybe I'm mistaken and he jumped over and stepped first with his right foot, but it looked like he had stepped with his left foot first with the ball. Dominic Peshek looking to dodge his way into the inside post there. Up to Dushley. He's gonna take another rip at it. He's off the mark, hits off the glass. Ground ball issues. Tomasz Kanotek can't get it. A lot of fun there. Roland Vietman and Kanotek, and now there's going to be a one on one opportunity for the Germans. Shot saved. David Beckman looking for that shot. Almost goes on Jakub Marish. Clear 
opportunity here. Matej Barak drops the ball from the pass from Nikolovska. Timely slap check there. Doesn't allow Max Becker to get that ball right away. There's three seconds left, so this is going to be a shot clock violation. They should have had better recognition and, and got it into the corner, but unfortunately for the Czechs, they drop it right at the midline, and now the Germans have a little, little press going. Wiesman with the ball, tipped by number 84, Maciej Reshnicek. Back to Wiesmer with the diving goal! Gorgeous. My goodness. That was a beauty. Yakimar is selling out for the interception. He doesn't get it. You have to apologize. I didn't see who had that assist. Face-off, first face-off won by Team Germany. First face-off won outright by Team Germany. Beckmann with the ball over to Pierre Olters. Gets the ball to Team Wunderlich for the shot and the save by Jakub Maris. Ball slips through, as I said, it kind of bounces weird. Luckily for the Czechs, they retain possession. Nikolaska running around a... Uh, Pick from Dom Peshek, who's lethal if you don't pick him up. Even lethal if you do pick him up. Diving goal, Dom Peshek. And they're going to call this. Are they going to call it a crease? Or are they going to keep the goal? Either way, they're going to send number 45, Thomas Niepel, into the penalty box for a holding. That should be a goal. That should be a goal. That should have been a goal. Tough break for the Czechs there. Two minute holding penalty for Tomas Niepel. Josh Lipohaska. Finds the one more. Yurkolovska finds Doshley. Wants another one, doesn't get it. David Beckman gonna run himself into a double team almost. Runs himself into the wall this time. Couple more check bodies waiting for him. Triple team on him. Ball comes loose. Scooped up very nicely by Yurkolovska. He used to be a hockey player. That was his main focus back in the day. You kind of see his ability to handle on the ground. Big hit there by Roland Wiedmann on Maciej Reshnicek. That is going to be a goal for the Czechs on the power play. I believe that was number 21, Tomasz Konotek. His first of the game. So now 4 2 in favor of the Czechs. Shot by Cobra Hayek saved. The Germans on a quick fast break opportunity here. Florian Heller had Philip Braz kind of off to the side, waved him off. Good defensive pressure there by Brian Whitmer of the Czechs. Martin Schruta, Schruta helping him out. Finds Jan Skokan. Pressing this opportunity, Jan Skokan and Jurka Laskot. Jan a pretty lethal offensive player as well. This time, this ball goes just out of the reach of Dominic Peshek, and it's going to be an over and back call for the Czechs. German ball. Yeah. 
Philip Roz holding the ball up top. Oh, excuse me, that was in the hands of Justin Wiesmer. Went to Lenny Noring, back to Wiesmer. Nice roll, good dodge, good footwork. Philip Roz taking the shot. Stick saved by Yakumaris and a big hit by Matej Reshnicek. And that has got to hurt in this concrete. Matej throws up a prayer, gets by number 20, Philip Roz. Being run down by Roland Wittmann. Flicked up by Craig Vindy, unable to get it on the crease. Roland Wittmann not letting, uh, not letting Martin Malinowski either out, off the boards or off the field. But Lenny Noring using both his hands to set these picks. I feel like that's something that the referees will notice in time. We're down to the final 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. With the stick check score by Pierre Alters, his second of the game. So this score is gonna be 3-4 in favor of the Czech Republic. And we're gonna get a penalty on Mark Brandenberger after the goal. He was given a little extracurricular work to uh, I believe it was Brian Whitmer down below there. So Brandenberger going into the box. It's a huge offensive loss for the Germans. Goal for Germany, number 36, Per Alter. So the Germans are gonna head into the final 30 seconds. Man down. Yet another faceoff win for the Czechs. They're winning that battle five to one on three face-off games. Final 10 seconds of the game here. Man up opportunity. Gosselin Prohaska, drop ball, two seconds. And quarter. Shot by Yerkolaska, tipped. So at the end of the first quarter, the score is 4-3 in favor of the Czechs, and we've had quite an electric game so far, as prescribed. So here we are at the European Box Cross Championship in beautiful, beautiful Hanover, Germany. We wish you were here, but we're so glad you're supporting us on stream, and we'll be right back. Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. Welcome back, lacrosse fans. We are heading into the second quarter of the Czech Republic versus Germany. Scores 4-3 in favor of the Czechs, and they are currently on the power play for another minute and 32 seconds from the Mark Brandenberger, unsportsmanlike. Another face-off won by the Czechs. They are winning that battle 6-1. 
But luckily for the Germans, they're only down by one. So clearly, things are going their way. So we had five penalties in the first quarter alone. Last time they played together, there there was 14. So we're on pace for 20. Let's hope, let's hope that kind of cleans up here. But you can tell with just how much passion and how much pride these teams play with. It's really electric arena in here. It's awesome to see. Host team Germany, final game of day one, just after the opening ceremony. There's a lot of juice in here. Just about five seconds left in the shot clock here. Shot saved by Craig Vendy. That's going to be a reset in shot clock. That's going to be tipped as well. It should be. And they're going to call an over and back? That was definitely tipped. The Czechs are arguing for it. The Germans are trying to play this. Referees are sticking to their guns. Wiesmer with the ball. The Czechs have scored two goals shorthanded, so the Germans are looking to answer on that end, maybe score a shorthanded goal themselves, but it doesn't really look like they're heading to the cage too hard. For the bras over to Olters. Wiesmer on the run off the pads of, of uh, Marisch. Easily cleared by the Czechs. And now we're going to be five on five as the penalty releases. So big hit in the back on Pavel Doshley. Mark Brandenberger is going to go back, right back into the box on that one. Peshek with the ball up to Doshley. Over to Prohaska who drops the ball. Oh, they're going to get another penalty and a goal by Dominic Peshek from the pass from Tomas Tomas Prohaska. Dominic Peshek not one to be left off the score sheet for long. Looked like there was another check in the back that was going to be two penalties on the Germans, but I do believe they're going to just keep one as the goal should release one of the penalties, if not both. Or prevent them from going. It doesn't release them. So the first penalty is going to be waved off. That's going to be on Mark Brandenberger, who had that original check in the back on Pavel Doshley. And now the cross check is going to go to Thomas Niepel. So fresh off of a man down situation, the Germans are right back to the man down scenario. So the second face off win for Team Germany, David Beckmann wins that ball, gets a lot of pressure from the Czechs. They end up stripping it, and now we have another ground ball battle on the other wing. And the Germans still come away with it. A lot of pressure from the Czechs. That's a ward. That's a ward. Wittmann getting away with a couple wards there. Lenny Noring winding up like his life depending on it and firing that rocket right into the pads of Marish. Oh, excuse me, that was number nine, David Beckman. Irkulaska up to Prohaska, over to Peshek. Back to Prohaska, shoots right into the chest of Craig Vendy. A three on two scenario here. Germans unable to capitalize. Marius Volter looking, looking for that goal there. Olters up to Wiesmer. Over to Brandenberger. Down to Nuring. Forty-three seconds left in the penalty kill remaining for Germany. Olters down to Wiesmer. Looking to make something happen here. Stripped by Matej Reshnicek. He gets the ball to Miroslav Polak. Pavel Dashley back with the ball up top. 20 seconds left, so basically just this last shot clock in the power play. Pavel Dashley finds himself alone, winds up, off the pads of Craig Vendy. Flipped up by the Germans, picked up by Dashley, fakes it, loses it, picks it back up. Getting a pick from Porohaska, wants to shoot around the screen, and he does, but it hits off the leg of Craig Vendy. Looking to get yet another rebound. They do. Tomasz Kanotek fires one in. 
right into the, the stick of Craig Vendy. And it's very slippery here. So on the clear, all the way down the field, the Germans lose it. Czechs pick it back up. And they're lethal in transition. One, two, three, tic-tac-toe. They almost make that one go. Germans in transition now. Struta looking to stop the break off his back. Standing tall, soaking that shot. Kuba Vimola going in on Lenny Noring, and that's quite a size difference between the two. And it looks like Vimola's going to get a penalty for holding, I would imagine, because he kind of had one hand off of his stick. Now a lot of extracurriculars. Justin Wiesmer also, and Brian Whitmer also going into the box. Brian Whitmer giving another little shove. Oh, that is not smart. So I believe Brian's going to get two back-to-back two-minute penalties, if I'm not mistaken. And the referee's going to have to figure this one out. So stacking two penalties on Brian Whitmer, one to Kuba Vimola, and then one to Justin Wiesmer. We are now at a penalty total of 10. We have, we have managed to get our whole first quarter total in the first five minutes of the second quarter. At this point, I think both teams are pretty sold on playing like this, so the referees might as well just let them do it. Just let two guys fight it out and then play cleaner the rest of the game or something, but we might need to turn the cameras off for that one, but I'll, I'll narrate it for you guys. <laughs> Put the kids to bed. <laughs> and this, this VIP crowd being right above the penalty box is Absolutely brutal for the Czechs. <laughs> Got a hold. Unsportsmanlike and a technical. Or roughing, excuse me. Five on four. All right. So an offsetting penalty means that if two guys go into the box at the same time, both teams are still going to play five on five and they're just going to wait out. Those guys are going to just serve the, the entire time of their penalty. So there was offsetting penalties on that one, and then we got an extra one for the check. So that's why it's five on four, even though there are three guys in the penalty box. German fans are juiced up. They love it. Lenny Noring with the shot and the goal. And our replay didn't work on that one. It's all right. Just know that Lenny, Go Lenny Noring had a very nice goal there. score should be 4-5 in favor of the Czechs. The graphic I see is not updated properly. You might be able to hear the actual Dutch, or the, not Dutch, but the uh, Deutschland bench underneath me. They are fired up. Now the graphic is right. It is 4-5 in favor of the Czechs. Germans win their third face-off of the day, kind of climbing back into a more even ranking in the face-off battle. Really nice shot there by Philip Braz. Was looking for that top left corner, doesn't find it. Maras closes it down at just the right time. Looking for it again, he kind of had it again. Lenny Noring wants a second in a row. Deflected, does he want it again? Goes behind Cage. 
Shot saved by Marish. Philip Bros with a really nice look there. Great ball movement by the Germans. Oh, his toe went over. Not a smart play by Malinovsky. I don't know exactly what they call the 10 second violation or an over and back, but either way, got to be a bit more heads up than that. Great ball movement once again by the Germans. Brandenberger takes a rip, scores! Assist from Lenny Noring, Mark Brandenberger tying the game for the Germans. Had the Czechs not gotten that second stacking penalty, I do believe that they would have released somebody on the first Lenny Noring goal. So this is really kind of a, a bad time for them to make, to make these penalties. But now they're gonna release Brian Whitmer. Jakub Vimola still in the box as the offsetting penalty, as I mentioned before, that they serve the entire time regardless of goals. So the Germans without Justin Wiesmer score two goals. And another faceoff win for the Czechs. Hans Dobiash running that ball around. Excuse me, that's Matej Barak. Pavel Dashli looking for an inside lane, can't find it. Five on five, even ball game here. Jurka Laskot looking for that check, then rolls away from it. Finds Dominic Peshek, one-timer, miss. Picked up by Craig Vendy, and they have somebody in transition. They have Bickman. Matus Tilsha running him down. He also had a short stint in Canada over the summer. Played junior B in Saskatoon. Welcome him back. Yusuf Slavik, Tomas Kanote, or not Tomas Kanote, Kabul Seder. And Stepan Friedel. Shot. Blocked. The Czechs have someone downfield. They don't find him. Not an over and back. They get a reset there. The Czechs had it for a brief second. Lenny Noring coming around the picks. He's going to fire away. And they're going to give a holding. Are they going to give it to number... They don't even know. Oh, they're going to give it to Team Germany. They're gonna give it to Team Wunderlich. Huh. I didn't see that. Kuba Vimola and Justin Wiesmar finally released from the penalty box. So we have a holding call on Team Wunderlich for our 11th penalty of the game. Which is actually more than they have goals combined, so that's great. That's nice. Dominic Peshek over to Prohaska. Prohaska back to Peshek, or to Knotek. Pavdashli to Loscott off the pads of Craig Vendy. Loscott dancing. Saved by Craig Vendy. Loscott picks up his own rebound. Dives. Barely shut the door on that was Craig Vendy. Goal move. Call waved off, or goal waved off. Philip Braz looking to get onto the score sheet. He had himself a very nice game against the Czechs last, last time and now currently held scoreless. Czechs really slow in the transition here, getting all their guys on. Balls with Prohaska. For a hidden ball trick there with Pavel Dovsky and Prohaska. 43 seconds left in the power play. Behind Cage. Dominic Peshek usually so lethal. Tomasz Konotek taking that shot, doesn't go. As I mentioned, they had a really slow clear there, so they couldn't get a full offensive look. They only got one shot, which for them is pretty rare. Fast break opportunity lost by David Beckman. Jan Skokan handling the ball near the boards. Finally cleared there by the Czechs. 20 seconds left to go in the shot clock. 
13 seconds left in the penalty. Prohaska up to Doshley. Doshley down to Lascott. Back to Prohaska, Doshley. Takes a shot, doesn't go. And this should be an over and back call. I don't know why it's not. But now that's gonna be off the stick of the checks. And it's gonna be German ball. That should have been over and back anyways, so. Maybe a makeup call of sorts. Wiesmer. Get the ball to Braz back behind X. Turnover. Germans are calling for in and out of the crease. They don't get it. Three on two advantage here. Tomasz Hayek taking a shot and a hit. Dominic Peshek looking for Yurka diving. Doesn't get it. Mathieu Barak looking for this ground ball. Kind of bats it around after a lot of effort from Patrick Schilling. Grisel with the ball. He had himself a very nice game at Jurlax run against the Czechs. Mark Brandenberger, who is so unbelievably fast that this floor is actually an advantage for the Czechs because he's not able to really go as full speed as it seems like he's usually used to used to going. Stick held by number 20, Philip Bruz. Philip Bruz holding the stick of Martin Hodan. Seventh penalty for the Germans coming up. It's be a hold. Shot by Tomasz Prochaska. Wide. Pavel Doshley looking for the five hole. Off the stick of Craig Vendy. Kanotek back to Doshley. Maybe looking for Peshek behind Cage. Off the ground ball. This is going to be a fast break opportunity for David Beckman. Who scores the goal, diving goal on Jakub Mara, short-handed. Putting the Germans in the lead for the first time this game. They're being down a couple goals. Now they are storming back for this halftime, maybe a halftime lead. As prescribed, an absolutely electric game so far. Face-off violation by the Germans. This is going to be check ball. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Face-off violation by the Czechs. This will be German ball. Mark Brandenberger, as I mentioned, so fast. And I think in any other arena, he would have had that, that step on Martin Struta. Has to kind of bring it back into, into play there. Looking for a big body check there. Finds himself slipping and falling. Struta with the ball up to Resnicek. He finds Dominic. Oh, he had Dominic Peshek, which is the most terrifying thing. If you're Craig Vendy, he knows the lethality of Dominic Peshek. Luckily, the pass from Resnicek doesn't, doesn't get its way to the back of Dominic Peshek's stick. Checks are still man up through all this, but they only have about 30 seconds left in the power play. Tomasz Kanotek firing away, hitting the post off of Craig Vendy, and that's going to go into the stands, and that's going to be check ball with a new shot clock. Up top with Pavel Doshley. Over to Peshek, who's got some room. Off the pads of Craig Vendy. I believe that was actually just off of the German defender, so no shot clock reset. 
Prohaska looking for it. He's been pretty off the mark today. Czech's losing in transition, which is not typical of them, and that's going to be an over and back call as Marish, come, Marish comes out to get that ground ball. Germans have been quite a bit better on the fast break, especially on this end of the arena. Munchen Hodan looking for that strip on Dennis Hirt. Finds Marius Volter, takes a rip off his teammate. Wiesmer looking for a diving goal, jumping goal. Checks are now three on two, kind of three, kind of four. Now the opportunity is dead. Wiesmer had stepped into the crease, which, is, which gave the Czechs the fast, fast start here. Not great offense there by the Czechs. Now David Beckmann looking for an opportunity, doesn't get it. Stepan Friedel right behind him there. Eko Vimola takes a big pick, falls down. Polak gets the ball over to Vimola. He's got Kanotek on the back side. Stops the fast break, takes a shot, hits the stick of Craig Vendy. There's 43 seconds left in this second quarter and the first half. Germans home team are up by one. Tomasz Konotek with the one-timer. Doesn't get it to go. Tomasz Prohaska makes a nice play on that ground ball there. Off the rebound, Pavel Dostoy finds it. 13 seconds left in the shot clock. Gets a roll, gets himself to the inside. Takes a shot. Off Craig Wendy. And with 17 seconds left, the Germans had an opportunity. Dominic Peshek playing some good defense there. Pavel Dashley with the ball, gets hit, loses it. Seven seconds to go in the first half. Germans are going to take a timeout. Philip Rose giving the referee an earful. And he's telling him, slow your roll. So we are going to have 6.3 seconds left. The Germans should be pulling Craig Vendy and having him stay out of the game so that they can have a sixth offensive player. Scores 6-5 in favor of the Germans. They're trying to make it a two-goal lead. They're pretty confident they can hold that should they get it. Here we go at the midline, 6.3 seconds left to play in the first half. Wiesmer loads up, goal! And that has electrified the arena. And that is going to be the end of the first half. The score is 7-5 in favor of the Germans. After what has been an absolutely chaotic game, a lot of back and forth play, 12 total penalties. We're almost at their full game total from the last time they met in May. And we're going to head to the locker room after what was an absolutely unbelievable first half. The atmosphere here is incredible. We wish you were here. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream, but we'll be back in about 10 minutes or so. Once again, my name is Garrett Gosshorn. This is the European Box Across Championship 2022 in beautiful Hanover, Germany. Better isn't a destination. It's a, it's a journey. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game, great. But what didn't work? What could you have done better? 
Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there. And it's never done. Wir sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial.